What is the cost of lies? One of the big choices we had to make was how to deal with the fact that our hero ultimately ends up taking his own life. We felt from the very start that we should begin with it. Right away you know what the cost of it was. That also signals to you as to that isn't what the story is about. The story of Chernobyl is shocking enough. We didn't feel like we should be building up to that moment and then shocking people in the final episode. We wanted them to know right up front, this is what happens. This man is going to die and this nuclear reactor is exploding. That, in, in a sense, isn't the interesting part. The interesting part is why and what now. That old episode takes place over five, six hours immediately after the accident. You're spending one night with the firefighters and this massive, massive beast that they're wrestling with, getting pummeled by radiation and fire and dying in front of that power plant. How insidious the idea of radioactive contamination was because you can't see it and you can't feel it. There's an existential threat to them. The research I did for this production was horrible. Possibly the most gruesome way to die is by severe radiation poisoning. The body melts from the inside out and the outside in. On the other side of that fire, you have the state refusing to accept what happens and suppressing the truth completely. Their first instinct was the most Soviet instinct. Tell no one. Cut the phone lines contain the spread of misinformation. That character represents a certain philosophy that was being brought to bear that night, a philosophy that goes all the way back to the Russian Revolution. I wanted somebody who represented that true belief in a dream of a utopia that never was going to be and never was, but who was still clinging to it. In moments of terror, people turn to their delusions, and in that moment, you see the triumph of delusion. You can contain information, you can't contain nuclear isotopes. The truth was no longer something that could be hidden away. 